right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So does in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he... So here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialist, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start a close strike. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Straight right, he misses. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. It won't take many of those. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Out of range for that one. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, single collar tie here. That's a big strike right there. Big kick. the midpoint in round one. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Joy. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And they separate. Back and forth we go. Straight right hand, no good. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay to be the taller.
Taylor fighter in this instance, it most certainly did. Right hand punch from the clinch. How good is that right hand? Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Right up the elbow, body kick land. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice right hand. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Doubles up on the jab. There's no give on that leg kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, collar tie. Nice strike. Right on the button. Round two straight ahead. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Very impressive strike. You're changing up your strikes perfectly. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-two. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Beautiful body kick. Big punch land. Ooh. I mean, that right hand landed square. And they separate. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Good one. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, he lands a huge move to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, tags him with that funny left again. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Chor. Oh, how 
about the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Now it's his mount. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Choi. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Nice leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Dig and kick. Just misses with the right hook. Effective strike there by Choi. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. 30 seconds to go in this one. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. 20 seconds left. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, beautiful job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle, and he knew he may have to wrestle early and often. And right now, this situation is often because he's, he's been attempting takedowns over and over again. He finally gets one as we get to the end of the round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Got the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Ooh, what a punch. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Pretty good right hand. Choi's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Just out of range with the big right hand. Got clipped with the right hand. The right hand just misses. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just over three minutes to go now. That was a nice fight. The Korean Superboy gets in the clinch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves 
deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing. In all of Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. Body kick is blocked. Nice loop and punch. Oh man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed without. Oh, nice. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Big kick land. Way to hide that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, that is an upper cut from hell. Beautiful job by him there. I mean, he threw that thing from his hip and landed with all the force that he could muster. I'm surprised he didn't knock him out with that punch. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out with him. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm gonna take one to give him. Nice straight punch. All right, single collar tie now. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice head kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, my goodness. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Able to check the high kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. Beautiful strike. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land at spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up the action, putting their foot to the gas, and really start to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Upstairs for an elbow. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. Big leg kick land. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Choi. Head kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Oh, 
Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Big punch lands through the middle. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, he landed another great shot. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Both guys landing with conviction now. He blocks the punch. Single collar tie now. Try to establish that jab. Joy gets caught with that punch. How about that shin? Big power shot there. Another punch to the head. Well, he's got the longer reach. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice defense there, huge block. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on those. They seat. continue to exchange. And they separate. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Double leg, double change. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Good stick. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Beautiful kick. Just misses with the jab there. Oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. What a fight so far. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. You ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh! He's so looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice hammer fist. Back to his feet. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Let's go. 
whiffs on the straight right hand. Big kick land. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at the turnover in that kick. Oh, big left. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Whoa! Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Let's go. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran. So many... There it is! It's over! He got him! Woo! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 26 seconds of round number five, declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the celebration is on.